Hello guys, today we'll be discussing of how to construct the spanner head using the principle of tangency. And the first thing we'll do is that we'll draw a horizontal line, which we've done already. Now indicating it with the center line. The next thing we we'll produce a six-sided polygon using a 60 degree set square. Project it this way. Then you draw, you can see, then you project it, measure, mm -hmm. since this is 20 millimeter, we measure 20 millimeter, we've done that, 20 millimeter, so with our T square, we project it this way, and then we draw a horizontal line, thin on 20 millimeter, this is a 60 degree set square. You will join. This to this. And then, still on, this is still 20 millimeter. I will do similarly thing to the down. Project this line here. To this point also is 20 millimeter with our rule you pick so to this point is 20 millimeter I've done that already to sketch just showing you how to do it so that it will be very easy for you so now this also will join it also, it has been done for 60 degrees. Now we've gotten that, gotten our six sided polygon one, two, three, four, five, and six. So now look for the midpoint of this line. Since it's 20 millimeter, we'll pick 10 millimeter here, then we'll project it upward. Or what you need so now this point over here call this point zero now from a diagram I have a radius here I've succeeded in creating this six-sided polygon and then I've made sure that each side are equal 20 20 millimeter so now from my midpoint here from point zero to this arc here this circle is 38 millimeter so I'll take my compass and then I'll pick 38 for my meter rule I've done that so I'll place it here at point zero and then I'll draw my circle So I've drawn my circle here, making here an outline and here a construction line. Then the next thing I'll do is that when you observe that this is 30 millimeters radius, touching this side here, 20 millimeters radius, you can see when side could touch each other internally, you minus. So 20 minus 38 will give us 18 millimeter. So take a meter rule. Pick 18 millimeter. Over there. So place it at point zero. Scribe an arc. Do the same thing here. Scribe the arc also. So now we look at our diagram very well. Find out that this radius here touches this point and also touches this point with radius 20 millimeter so we'll pick 20 millimeter from our rule then 
we place it at this point here because it touches this point you get it then by set an arc here then we'll call this point here 0 0.01 place it also to this point here find out that it bisected this arc over here bisected this arc over here we'll call this 0 0.2 now having our points 0, 01 and 0, 02, remember this radius here is 20 millimeter touches this point, also 20 millimeter it touches this point. So from 0, 01, my set, my compass is already on 20 millimeter. You can see. I've done that. So also from point 0, 02. From point zero two, touch this lines. Nice. You can see. So I'll use cleaner, then erase spot a little to bring out my diagram. Then remember that. This portion over here, they are all outlined. So I'll make it an outline. Nice. I've done that. So the next thing is that. I'll use my set square and produce a vertical line of my choice. Then giving distance I choose to over there. And then knowing that this distance here is 25 millimeter, so I divide it by 2, which will give me 12.5. So I'll take 12.5 upward. I'll take 12.5 upward and then 12.5 downward. Twelve point five upward, then twelve point five downward. So I have my point. You can see. So I'll project that point to hit the circumference of my circle. Do same to the top circumference of my circle. Now we've done that. You know that when cycle touch each other externally, we add. Now this is touching the cycle externally. Compare the cycle externally. So we add 28. We add 38 millimeter plus 20 millimeter. Now remember when cycle touch each other externally, we add. So I'm adding 38 millimeter with 20 millimeter this way. So it will give me 58 millimeter. Taking my rule, I'll measure 58 millimeter, placing it at zero here. Then I'll scribe my arc this way. Let me erase this. Also, similarly, I'll do same stuff here. My pin at zero. I'll scribe this arc. Now remember that this radius here is. 20 millimeter so i took 20 millimeter to this point here now project my line upward find out that i intersected at this point here so i open my meter root to 20 millimeter so 20 millimeter here this is it so i place my compass at this point and then is it my 20 millimeter I draw an arc this way. Now similarly I'll measure from here to here 20 millimeter then I'll project my line 
the point to hit this arc over here now using the same radius of 20 millimeter over here this is my compass at this point of intersection and then at this point of intersection then I'll draw my arc now the next thing I'll do is that I'll project this line down outline similarly I'll do same stuff here at the top outline so to any point of my choice and then I'll indicate it with a broken with since this spanner here is broken so I'll indicate it with the symbol this you use freehand sketch to this then choose to you can indicate over here all this a freehand sketch so we've done with that thank you for watching i still remain g c engineering and technical drawing don't forget to give me a thumbs up and then subscribe to my channel thank you